in the heart of New York City, amidst the bustling streets and towering skyscrapers, a shimmering portal tore through the fabric of reality. From the depths of the Immaterium emerged a being of deathless metal, a Necron warrior from the grim darkness of the Warhammer 40k universe. Its cold, unfeeling eyes scanned the unfamiliar surroundings, its Gauss flare weapon at the ready. Unbeknownst to the citizens of Earth, the arrival of this ancient terror did not go unnoticed. High above the city, in his gleaming Mark 85 suit, Tony Stark, better known as Iron Man, monitored the anomaly with keen interest. With a mixture of curiosity and apprehension, he rocketed towards the disturbance, his suit's repulsor thrusters blazing a trail through the night sky. As Iron Man descended upon the scene, his armored form silhouetted against the backdrop of the city lights, he addressed the towering figure before him. Well, 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 what do we have here? Another alien invader looking for trouble? Tony quipped, his trademark sarcasm lacing his words as he hovered in the air, gauging the Necron's reaction. The Necron remained silent, its mechanical form poised and ready for combat. With a flicker of movement, it raised its Gauss flare, the green energy crackling with deadly intent. All right, big guy, let's dance, Tony declared, his voice tinged with determination as he activated his suit's weapon systems. With a burst of energy, Iron Man unleashed a barrage of repulsor blast, streaking towards the Necron with deadly accuracy. The energy beams struck the Necron head-on, but to Tony's surprise, they seemed to have little effect. The Necron stood firm, its ancient armor absorbing the brunt of the attack without so much as a scratch. Okay, plan B it is, Tony muttered to himself, his mind racing as he analyzed the situation. With a mental command, he activated the missile pods built into his suit's shoulders, sending a volley of explosives hurtling towards the Necron. The explosions rocked the street below as the concussive force rippled through the air, but still, the Necron remained standing, its metallic form undamaged. All right, tough guy, let's see how you handle this. Tony exclaimed, a hint of frustration creeping into his voice as he unleashed a powerful energy blast from his suit's chest-mounted arc reactor. The blast struck the Necron dead center, engulfing it in a blinding flash of light. For a moment, it seemed as though victory was at hand, but as the smoke cleared, Tony's heart sank. The Necron still stood, its form battered but unbroken, its glowing eyes fixed on Iron Man with an intensity that sent a shiver down Tony's spine. Jarvis, analysis, Tony called out, his voice tight with urgency as he sought a way to defeat his seemingly invincible foe. Sir, the Necron's armor appears to be composed of a highly resilient material, impervious to conventional weaponry, Jarvis replied his synthesized voice echoing inside Tony's helmet. Great, so I'm basically fighting a walking tank, Tony muttered, his frustration mounting as he racked his brain for a solution. But just as Tony began to feel the weight of defeat bearing down on him, inspiration struck. With a mental command, he activated the nanotechnology housed within his suit, reshaping the particles into a new weapon unlike anything he had ever wielded before. With a burst of energy, Tony unleashed a beam of pure, focused power, the intense heat slicing through the air like a laser. The beam struck the Necron with pinpoint accuracy, slicing through its armored plating with ease. To Tony's astonishment, the Necron staggered, its mechanical form faltering as the beam tore through its defenses. With one final burst of energy, the beam severed the Necron's head from its body sending it crashing to the ground in a heap of twisted metal. As the dust settled, Tony hovered in the air, his chest heaving with exertion as he surveyed the aftermath of the battle. The Necron lay defeated at his feet, its once fearsome form reduced to little more than scrap metal. Guess it's true what they say, you can't beat good old-fashioned human ingenuity, Tony quipped, a wry smile playing across his lips as he surveyed the scene. Jarvis, recover the body. We need to analyze it, Tony instructed, his voice tinged with a mix of curiosity and determination. And with that, Iron Man soared back into the night sky as the Jarvis control drones descended on the Necron's remains.